Hello, here today with a weekly review, not a weekly review, weekly roundup, weekly my reading vlog, however you want to say it. I'm not going to re-record this. Uh, just what I'm going to read, what I read last week, what uh, I'm going to read, keep up to date, see uh, what I thought about. I made reviews for everything. But a little more thoughts into it, what I, I stepped on everything. So see what I finished. The first book I finished last week was Chai Bowler Burn. I'm not going to go get it, but I got The Expanse coming up. I finished that one. It was what I expected of The Expanse. It was not, uh, well, I've, I never felt like any of the characters were in danger, so I read, and the only good thing about it was that it only took me two days to read. It was a really quick, easy, easy read. Not, not very well written, not a very good plot, just, I didn't like it, but I hear this one's going to be good. This is going to be a uh, nemesis cake. This is supposed to be the best one out of them, and I don't want to sound so bad about Chibola Burn. It was all right. It was about when they go to the planet and the bugs or the aliens get in their eyes. But uh, if you're reading The Expanse, you know what I'm talking about. Let's get on with it. Uh, a good book, uh, Knife of Dreams. I had a great time reading this. Read this in four days. And it was uh, the, the capstone of Robert jo Jordan. Uh, this was his last full novel. After this, uh, it's ba Brandon Sanderson. And I, I'm going to read Night, uh, New Spring, so there's one more book by Robert Jar Jordan I'm going to read, but a, a very strong, very final book to Robert Jordan. Uh, I hope Brandon, ja Brandon Sanderson does a good job. I hear he does. He's Brandon Sanderson. I haven't read anything of his, so I'm hoping for the best, but this was great. Just uh, nonstop action and war, and I think that's why a lot of people liked Knife of Dreams because it is a very action heavy book but I, I, I was getting a little ups, not upset I was getting a little annoyed because I was watching after I get done reading all these books I watch reviews and everybody was just talking about how oh what a relief it was to finally get to this and I really enjoyed uh the, what they call the slogs, uh, Twilight of Cr Crossroads of Twilight, Crown of Swords, uh, the other ones, Winter's Heart. I really enjoyed them. I didn't think there was a slog at all. Uh, it made me enjoy this book even more, knowing all the characters, knowing all the payoffs, which compared to The Expanse, where they, they want you to... The Expanse wants you to feel for Naomi and Holden and... you. Of course, they want you to feel for these characters. They're just not doing a very good job at it. But I really, even Elaine, I know Elaine gets a lot of hate. I enjoyed the Elaine chapters and the politics. I understand why people want the action and for everything to get resolved. But I think that also goes to the way just the world is nowadays. Everybody wants something fast and easy. Not realizing that you're, it's going to take four days. Well, some people, it took months to read this book, a whole month. But if you want to get to the good stuff, you have to get through all the crap and the politics and the setup. And not that I don't, like I said, I enjoyed it all. I enjoyed seeing how Robert Jordan put all the pieces in place. And yeah, maybe a little bit, a little bit of it was forced. It is a fantasy. You have to let your mind go. Oh, well, I never felt out, I never thought, I never once thought, oh, why is she doing this? Why is she doing that? Even when Elaine went to, um, full spoilers, I'm, well, I'm not, when, I don't, I'm not going to pit spoilers anymore. That's what it's going to be in my videos too. No more spoilers. Uh, anyways, when the, what happens, everybody was like, why would Elaine do that? And I was like, well, if you read the book, you would figure out why she did that. At least I thought that. But and I'm going to keep on with New Spring and we'll head on the journey. Uh, the third book I've, uh, I got done with, Hawkfather. I just got done with this yesterday. 
And this was great. This was really, really solid read. I know it was, uh, of course it would, of course it was going to be a Christmas book. It's, it has Santa Claus on it. But I didn't think it was going to be uh, so Christmas heavy. I, I, I go into all these books blind. I don't, I don't read the back of the books. I don't, I just go with it. When you, I, even the back of the books give away too much information sometimes. I want to know, you know, the exciting, in, the inciting incident. What is that, you know? And the Hogfather, just more Terry Pratchett, more great storytelling. He really knows how to tell a, a well-crafted story from beginning to ending. Uh, things that happen at, at the, the beginning of this book get all solved by the end of the book. Most of them, if not all. Maybe there's a loose hair here or there that I can't really think of right now. I'm just covering my bases, but I can't think of one. About uh, Death taking another job, the Hogfather, it went missing. And Death has to, uh, not has to, he takes over Santa Claus's job, the Hogfather. And laughter ensues. Very funny, very whimsical. Very uh, satire, I guess is the word, because again, Terry Pratchett's talking about consumerism and capitalism, and there was a lot of, because uh, Death has to take over for Santa Claus, and he has to figure out how to do the, do the job, and if you know Death, this is already the third book in it, he can't figure out really, well, isn't Santa Claus just supposed to give things to people? And everybody's fighting him on it. No, you can't just give things to people, they have to buy it, you know? And it's just the way how messed up our world is and how he points it out. Because you don't really think of him as messed up. And so many of the things that we do are so messed up and evil, quite frankly, to a lot of people. But we don't see it that way or we don't even think about it. And he has a very, a very good way of just pointing it out to you. And saying it, well, wait, that doesn't make sense at all. Wait, how is this possible? Just a very solid read. It would be a good deed, Naughty. Morning. Yeah. Uh, I w I'm going to have to read all of the Discworld, I'm thinking. It's a big commitment of 40 books. But uh, after I'm only four books in, I think I'm just going to have to pull the trigger and get them all. <laughs> Not maybe not all, all at once. I'm going to, of course, shop around. I'm not just going to pay full price, of course. But we're going to start this this uh, Terry Pratchett collection, this Discworld. Because uh, another thing, I felt like they uh, make references in Reaper Man and Mort and Soul Music and in this to other events on the Discworld. And I feel like I'm missing out. Like, oh, wait, did they mention a dragon or something? Or, yeah... A they, I know they mentioned the pyramids and the gods, and I know there's a, a pyramids and the gods in the book. So, very, very uh, eager to start this. To start, to, I'm very eager to go more into the disc world and discover more. If you don't, I, I saw, and then, like I said, I go and I look up reviews, and I did see. Uh, some people like I, I I'm not gonna hate on people who don't like the books, but if you're gonna nitpick about uh, a Santa Claus book about reality and I don't know, it's it takes place on a giant turtle floating through space with elephants on his back with the Discworld. If you're not into it, I don't know what to tell you. You either buy it or you don't. <laughs> but Discworld five stars. These two books, five stars. Uh, Knife of Dreams, five stars. Oh, and then Akira. I got my... I finished Akira. What uh, event. Action-packed. Didn't disappoint. The... This whole... The whole manga was uh, pretty much one uh, hour long battle. Uh, great capstone. If you guys haven't read, if you guys don't know what Akira is, uh, it was a 1985, I believe, manga. Or, well, there, of course, it's a manga first, but then the way most people found out about it in America, there was an anime movie about it. That the anime pretty much is, I want to say, the first two books and a little bit of this book. Kind of. Yeah, 
but without if you watch the anime you know it didn't have very a very deep story but just the when i was a little kid there was nothing else like it if you saw the anime the movie anime and it didn't disappoint if you haven't if you saw it as a as a child like i did and you always wanted to figure out the whole story it didn't disappoint Canada and kai i guess my my favorite character would have been uh if I had to choose, I like Joker. Joker uh, in the manga, he didn't get a big part, but in this, he he was more in there. He wasn't a main character. He came in more at the end, but he was good. I liked I liked uh, all of them, uh, Kanada and Tetsio and Kai. It was uh, very action packed. Um, when I didn't see uh, spoilers, just a little bit, just a little bit, that I didn't see that America was going to get involved. That took me, they got involved in book four or five. And uh, yeah, just this, and then the science behind it was good. I, at least they had a little bit of the science. They tried to fill in the blanks, world building. It's, it is very, it has a whole history. It, uh, but it is just a manga, so it's not too much. It does, for a manga, it is very good for a manga. Mangas are awesome. It is very good. Please read. I'm trying not to give spoilers because it is a manga and it's hard not to. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to. It's good. Just read it. <laughs> and then uh, last night I had some free time. So I uh, started some more Conan. The Black Colossus I read. A great uh, novella. Black Colossus. It's this picture. Uh, Yasmina, I think her name is. It's a Conan story. Uh, takes uh, it takes place not when Conan's a king, like the other stories. The first three books, he was already a king, and now he's back to being. Well, I'm reading them out. Or I'm reading them in publication order. I could, I before I knew what I was doing, and so I'm just keep going with publication order. I get, I, I think you can read it in a chronological order. Maybe I'll start doing that, but I read it when, so he's back to being a mercenary and it starts with this sorcerer escaping his prison and haunting the dreams of this princess. And so this princess goes to her God and asks, what should I do? And she, and the God tells her, him, her go out in the city and the first man you see make him the captain of your your army and go to war against this evil wizard and uh who's the first person she sees obviously conan <laughs> the sumerian and yeah sword and sorcery he goes to war and uh i won't spoil it for you but you could suggest what happens uh, only a, a short novella if you know conan you know probably the ending already they're very uh episodic uh, but there wasn't any um, other than the sorcerer doing some magic. There wasn't any cosmic horror. I was kind of expecting. I didn't see because you, you spoiled me, Conan. Now I want the cosmic horror and the HP Lovecraft uh, monsters. But uh, it was still a very solid read. Very solid. Read Conan. Uh, <clears throat> another short story I read last night. A very good uh, surprise. Uh, short story that I read from uh, Clifford D. Simic. I got one of his little short story collections here I found at the bookstore for 50 cents. I, sometimes I see these books, I'm like, I don't know what they, they don't know what they got, right? Clifford Simic, he's a, a cornerstone in uh, classic sci-fi. But the story was a uh, mirage, a very good Martian tale where uh, I, it had to, this story had to, uh, yeah, in the 50s, because this story takes was written in the 50s because it takes, it's that, it's the Mars that, if you read uh, Ray Bradbury, Chronicles of Mars, which is a great book too, it's kind of like that Mars, where there was already cities and, well, maybe not quite cities, but let me get back to it. It's the story of Mars, and I saw it as kind of a Wild West 
Africa, Australian dangerous wildlife, Mars. And that was really cool. And it, uh, a man has to go on a mission to find the alien, the aliens. It's a short story. So it goes by really quick and I'm trying to explain it. It's a short novella. Uh, basically, uh, uh, the, the native species of Mars have six, seven different sexes and human species has wiped out uh, the seventh. They had valuable fur and the humans killed them all. But now uh, there's a law against it, you know, too, too little, too late already. And Mars seems kind of dying, well, uh, the species. But a man uh, comes into contact with the six looking for the seventh. And it's a short story, so it doesn't take uh, very long to read, but it was very good. It's called The Mirage because uh, he's going through Mars without any water and he starts seeing mirages. Or so you think, maybe. You know, this is, but a very good read. If you ever read any uh, Clifford D. Simic, uh, very good sci fi. Very sci fi the way you want it to be. Or, ah, this expanse is so disappointing. I, uh, uh, but yeah, that's what uh, I'm, I just got done reading. If I had to pick my favorite book of the week, uh, uh, it had to be uh, Knife of Dreams. It had to be, yeah. <coughs> I know it was uh, every, it's, it's everyone's favorite, and there's a reason for it. And it's my favorite for the week, at least. Maybe not my whole favorite Wheel of Time book. I haven't finished them. But at least for this week, it was the most... Uh, a lot of uh, loose ties got caught up that you've been following. I'm pretty sure there's the uh, Shido is done now, and we won't have any more of those plot lines. And I'm very interested to see what happens to Rand and Naive and Matt and Perrin and see how Brandon Sanderson goes about it. Well, I'm going to read uh, the New Spring first. And hopefully, hopefully everything gets figured out. Um, and then what I'm going to start reading this week, wrong place, wrong time. I'm going to go back to my Reese Witherspoon books. I found this in the little free library. Uh, I'm, not pers I'm not personally out to get Reese Witherspoon, but if you're going to have a book club, I'm going to judge you. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you, what, why? I just have this this sneaky feeling that she doesn't read these books. I, I don't want to put her on blast. Or if she does, why why is she picking these books? Because I picked uh, where the crab star, where the crab dads sing. And that was a very well written book, but I just didn't enjoy the ending. Well, the writer put herself into a. Uh, Entanglement, you know, if you, you you make your your protagonist your protagonist too smart, well, it doesn't make any sense. If you read it, uh, I'm not gonna give out spoilers. There's a movie out on it too, but I didn't think it made any sense. Maybe the movie made better sense, but in my head, it didn't make any sense. And I read a couple other ones of her uh, Reese Witherspoon. I probably read more. I just didn't have the sticker on it, but we're gonna try out this wrong place, wrong time, and see how it goes. Uh, yeah, going to it blind. I have no idea what it's about. I just saw the Reese where the, uh, I found it in the low free library. See how how it goes. I'm um, I'm always hoping that books are good. I never want to read a bad book. I never want to waste my time. I was watching one YouTuber's uh, The Shades of Orange. She's a really good uh, YouTuber. And she was talking about how she tried to not read. And then when she wasn't reading, she, she just felt like she, she, uh, she was wasting her time. And that's how I feel too. Like, I don't want to waste my time watching a stupid show. A stupid, uh, every, I know everybody's watching Succession right now. Or I think there's some Star Wars or some movies out or whatever there is. I, I'm not really paying attention. But... I don't care about rich people 
those problems like that. Uh, if I, I, it's just the entertainment today, entertainment, uh, the movies out today, the TV shows out today. I don't want they don't don't even interest me. I I've been burned too many times. I, I think after Game of Thrones, I was just like, yeah, I'm done with this. Even uh, after Game of Thrones, I can't even think of another. I saw Mr. Robot, and that was horrible. It started off good. It started off good. That's I think that's the problem with TV shows today, and media. Like I said, it start it. Everybody's attention span is so little. But then the people who are making the stories, they do make a good story. Like Mr. Robot, that was that was a great first season. That was it was awesome. But then I don't think he knew what to do with the story. I think it was only supposed to be a one story. Yeah, this is his his low story. It doesn't have to have an, an ending necessarily like that. Uh, people's lives don't have endings like that. Life goes on. This is just the end point. But people want more and then people can make more dramatic. You know, uh, Mr. Robot was just horrible for me. So was Game of Thrones. I I can't even think of any other TV shows I've recently watched. But... Uh, Wakanda Forever was awful. I heard that Ant Man's awful. Thor was awful. Uh, I don't. Uh, oh, Andor was good. I like Star Wars. I'm gonna read uh, the Star Wars, the Lando Calrissian books after the Expanse. After the Expanse, I'm gonna read some more sci-fi. I can't wait to get done with this Expanse, and not to throw shade at the Expanse. I just want more for it. I just want a better of it. A good a good thing about Terry Pratchett is again, you know, he talks about the homeless people and welfare and what it means to give and society and I think I, maybe that's not what I want from yeah. I might as well have them say nothing about it. I might as well have them say nothing about it. And another thing about the expense I found out that uh, it wasn't even their idea. The guys, James S. A. Corey, they were playing a tabletop game, like 355 or something. I can't remember. That's what year they decided. And it was a tabletop game. And they just made a book out of their tabletop game. And I get, I, I've, I guess some other people have done that before with, with their uh, Dungeons and Dragons. And they just made a book out of their adventure, that their personal adventure. But maybe that's why. I don't like maybe there's that maybe that's why there's no world building because they just it was just a little game it was a game to them and they thought it was fun and somebody said hey yeah I know George R. R. Martin well we could probably get a book deal or oh, and they probably knew somebody at Amazon too or sci-fi channel it's all connected you it there's what three or four car major corporations that own everything now so I wouldn't be su if surprised if sci-fi is somehow under ownership of Amazon somehow. I don't know. At least that's how they do it, you know. Uh, if it's not, if they're not directly, you know, the the guy's cousin's brother's wife is the CEO and they have dinner every other weekend, you know. They're, they don't officially know each other, kind of. You know, they're not officially in business together. But, you know, through the network of rich people and clubs and everything, they come on, people. I, I I really don't think people know how society works. I think this book is one of those like people like people don't know how society works. If you think Alice Sarah is somehow a good person, and but she's also secretly in control of the UN, how does that? How is that? How is she a good person? Oh, she's a good person because she has the right ideas and. Uh, there are no good billionaires, people. There are no good cops or lawyers, politicians. There's, they're not in the favor for the people. It's awful. But I, I, I know there are good people in those organizations that are that are trying to, but they don't last very long, from what I hear. I've seen some of their stories. Heard some of their uh, ex police officers and ex public defenders there. They can't put up with it. It their turnover rate, you know. Just we're talking about things politics again. Sorry about that. We're here to talk about books. I'm hopefully gonna enjoy this wrong place, wrong time. I got other things on the schedule today, so it's gonna be a busy schedule. I might not get my 200 pages, but it looks like an easy read. Oh yeah. 
I'll be done with this book and by tomorrow. So I'll give you a review then. But thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. I, uh, I hope everyone's enjoying these videos. I know not many people are watching, but if you do and you make it this far, thank you. Thank you very much. And yeah, uh, leave a comment, like and subscribe. Keep on keeping on.